Hello, today I wanted to talk about what it means when someone says non-dilutive funding. I've heard some people use that term incorrectly and I, so I just want to make sure uh, that people understand what it means. So um, what is dilution? So dilution is when you dilute the ownership of your entity. So let's say you have your business is run out of a corporation or maybe it's an LLC but let's use a corporation as an example and maybe when you first start your business you own a hundred percent of the stock in your corporation and the way that works is you um, you have certain amount of stock authorized in your company charter also known as the certificate of incorporation or articles of incorporation depending on the state um, and then you issue yourself some stock. Um, and you can issue yourself whatever amount of stock you want to, as long as it's not more than what's authorized in your charter. And how do you issue yourself stock? You just create, usually it's like a, stock, a founder stock purchase agreement. And in exchange for you maybe paying like $10, um, you get some stock. So at that point, you own 100% of the stock because you own all of the stock that has been issued from the company. Then let's say you decide to bring on a co-founder and let's say you've issued yourself um, 10,000 shares of stock and you own 100% because you're the only one who owns stock. And then you decide, I'm going to issue 5,000 shares of stock to my co-founder you now have been diluted. So you own 10,000 out of 15,000 total. So you own two thirds of all of the outstanding stock. So that's what dilution is. So dilution is just any time you bring on a new um, equity owner in your business, it's gonna generally, it doesn't have to, but generally speaking, it will dilute the other people who currently own equity. And it's just like math, you know, however many new shares of stock you sell or whatever percentage of your LLC you sell, it's going to take that out of the other equity owners. It doesn't have to be that way. You could decide, um, for example, I just brought in some new equity owners into this company that I'm working on and I decided that that, that I would grant them some equity and it wouldn't dilute all the all the equity investors the the preferred investors that put money in as investors it only diluted me so you can make decisions about who gets diluted um and the dilution has nothing to do with what class of stock or class of equity so you could have like three different classes of equity maybe you have common stock you have a uh, preferred and you have like preferred B or something, who knows? Um, you have different types of stock, different classes, um, each one with different, um, you know, uh, rights and preferences, but the dilution doesn't really have anything to do with the class. So like if someone owns 10,000 shares of preferred and I own 90,000 shares of common, they still have 10% of the company. So anytime you raise money from an investor and they buy equity, that's generally going to be dilutive. That's going to be dilutive capital because it dilutes the ownership of the people who were the owners before that investment came in. So what is non-dilutive investment? So non-dilutive investment, sometimes when people say that they're talking about maybe a grant. So there are some grants out there like from the National Science Foundation and um, other grants that you can get for your business, usually if it's um, in science or technology. There's other grants too um, and donations you could get. But um, basically that is not going to dilute any of your equity investors because it's not, no, they're, the, the money is not coming in in exchange for equity. There's another type of non-dilutive financing and that is a debt investment. So if someone lends you money, um, that's also not, they're giving you money as an investor in exchange for 
a, a promissory note, the promise to pay back the money, that's a loan and therefore is not uh, dilutive. So I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.